We got the new Mustang. Whoa, hold on. Is that a 4.3 badge? No 5.0? What's up, YouTube? It's your man, Wux Official. And in today's video, we're talking about the new Mustang, supposedly the new one. This is a leaked photo, leaked photo, spy cameras. So before we get into this, let's know. This stuff isn't confirmed. They're not denying it, but it's not confirmed. So they could change the, what this car looks like in what? Over a hundred times from now to whenever they release it, these are not confirmed. So no need to get upset. Trust me, I've got upset already about it. I'm looking at that front end. At this point, I'm looking down for this is what we're doing. I just joined the team and you're going soft on me already. I've been dreaming of joining this team and this is what we're doing. <laughs> no, I'm playing guys. Let's get to the video. Before we get into that, <laughs> let me thank all the subscribers. Thank you everybody for hitting the subscribe button. Think also hit the bell notification when you do subscribe so you're notified of every post. I have some people coming to me. Hey, whoa, well, I haven't seen any of your posts. I, first thing I asked them, are you subscribed? They said, I'm subscribed. Hit the bell notification. They didn't know they didn't know about the bell notification. So hit that bell notification. Hit hit that you're notifi notified of all posts. That keeps you up to date. Now let's get to this Mustang video. Let's look, let's look at these photos first. Tell me what you think about it. Let's get straight to it. Let's talk about this dash. Now you guys see it's a different it's a different setup. You have a you have a screen on the left side. Obviously this is digital gauges, and on the right side this is actual gauge. It shows you the speed. The other the further left is probably going to be the RPMs like they did for the other Mustang. But this doesn't show me that there's going to be any hybrid. I do have a feeling that there is going to be a hybrid. I'll go into that later in the video. But looking at this, what do we see the top speed is? It's basically 137 miles an hour. It's 220 kilometers an hour. We're looking at all these features. We have neutral drive and manual mode. So they are still gonna have the paddle shifters as you can see here. And it also does look like they have a, some sort of symbol. I'm assuming that's for active exhaust. My car does not have active exhaust. So I don't know what that feature exactly looks like, but let's go to the next photo. As we transition, Okay, what do we see? This is this is where some of the changes are happening. Now, first off the bat, I noticed they changed the air vent. The air vent's now under the interface. You still have that big old touchscreen that looks like the interface, but the a the air vents are under it. They're normally above it. In this case, they're under it. And what do, what do we see under the air vents? We'll go ahead and look. We'll zoom in on this. Okay, so what do we see? Well, first of all, we see we do we do see the traditional traction control and hazards. Now, what we see that's not tradition, it's buttons. Remember, with the S560, there weren't there were no buttons. They were literally switches that you flip. That was so cool. Now, this one this is going to this is going to make me think a little more about this car. It looks like now it's starting to look like an electrical vehicle. It's starting to look like an EV with all these buttons. Personally, yes, it's nice to have technology. I'm not a huge fan of technology in a performance-based car, which is what the Mustang is. Regardless of what version you get, the car's heritage is performance. Now, if you want to go, if you want to, if you want to go deep into the history, okay, it was an, it was officially eco car, which was good for the economy. But they soon they soon changed they soon changed that image. They changed that really quickly and it was known for performance now looking at this touchscreen interface we do see that it looks like you have to use use the touchscreen just to turn the ac on and turn it down now with the s550 we didn't have to do that now this does look nice technology so obviously the car is going to have some comforts in it it's probably going to have magna ride suspension which if you don't understand what magna ride is is basically magnetic calibration we did we did break that down a little bit in the gt500 kr video but it's basically magnetic calibration basically you can push a button to choose if you want your car to be comfortable a little loose suspension a little bouncy loose just comfortable and if you want it stiff go ahead and put that thing in sports mode track mode is for track use only Moving back to what we were talking about, the 2024 Mustang. So we look at the shifter, the shifter looks about the same. Nothing new there, right? Only thing that might be new is M for manual mode, pretty much the same. Now, if we look at the steering wheel, it's basically the same steering wheel we're looking at again. Only different thing is how they made the control layout look. It's basically the same controls, except for the steering wheel icon. That kind of seems to be a little bit of weird placement. I'm assuming that's for controlling the, the modes on how you stiff you want the steering wheel. 
you know how with the S550, we have the switches where we can put it in track mode, but then control how soft and hard we want the steering wheel to be. I'm assuming that what that's for. Do you guys think this is an additional feature, like self-driving or anything like that? Would you guys want that? And what do you guys think it is? Leave a comment of your guesses in the comment section. But except for that, the steering wheel is basically the same. Now, let's get to this front end. I'm not a fan of this front end, guys. Not at all. I'm trying to be respectful. Ford, I would like some invites to some shows. So I, so I am going to be considering respectful. But this front end is not doing it for me, guys. Not at all. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Do you like this front end? Does it look like a Dodge Charger V6 model to you? What is this? Is this your game? Huh? Personally, I think I would take this one over the black one. It just it just looks more complete. Now, unfortunately, I don't like any of those. You guys can leave a comment and tell me what you think about them. Do you like them? I don't know what I think. I know what I think about them. I don't like them. I'm going to be honest. But if you don't have your Mustang, you might want to look into getting one now because based off of what I think, I feel like they want to dumb down the Coyote motor. Are they even want to make a 5.0? That's a big question. The other question, the other question was it was a had a 10 horsepower drop. We don't know if it has that anymore because the car's been delayed so many times. We'll have to see, but we'll see by the time it comes out. And we're going to do some more coverage on this car. I'll catch you guys in the next one. It's your man Woe, and I'm out. Now look at this. Madness the magnet keeps attracting me. I try to 